Terrorism definition. I start this mini lecture with examples of terrorism. I then define it and distinguish it from war. Let's start with several examples of what are considered acts of terrorism. The first example is Archduke Ferdinand's assassination on 28 June 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria and his wife were shot dead in Sarajevo by a terrorist belonging to a group of six Bosnian Serb assassins. The political objective of the assassination was to break off Austria-Hungary's South Slav provinces so they could be combined into a greater Serbia or a Yugoslavia. Another example of a terrorist act is a fire in 1987 set by the Animal Liberation Front here at UC Davis Veterinary Laboratory that caused $3.5 million in damage. Another example is the U.S. Embassy bombings in Kenya in 1998, which killed hundreds of people. These were a series of attacks where simultaneous truck bomb explosions at the U.S. embassies in the East African capitals. The date of the bombings marked the eighth anniversary of the arrival of American forces in Saudi Arabia. The attacks were linked to local members of the Egyptian Islamic Jihad. Another set of examples are the uh, uh, September 11th, that is the 9-11 attacks. These were a, a series of four coordinated suicide attacks upon the U.S. in New York City and Washington, D.C. areas on September 11, 2001. On that Tuesday morning, 19 terrorists from the Islamic militant group Al-Qaeda hijacked four passenger jets, killing over 3,000 people. A last set of examples are the 2011 Norway attacks, which were two sequential lone wolf terrorist attacks against the government, the civilian population, and a workers' youth league run summer camp in Norway on 22 July 2011, claiming a total of 77 lives. It involved a car bomb and massacre of children on an island summer camp. So how is terrorism defined? There are actually hundreds of definitions, but here we will use the one by Richard English in 2009. Terrorism is defined as the strategic use of violence or the threat of violence against an oppositional political group uh, per perpetrated against civilians or non-combatants usually intended to influence an audience. The key here is that the target is civilians or non-combatants. Distinctions between war and terrorism. War involves conflicts between governments and or states. Terrorism does not. War is subject to the rules of international law because it involves states and governments. However, terrorism is not. Therefore, war is subject to the rules of international law because it involves states and governments. However, terrorism is not.